Well, have you ever wondered why we have such an affinity for the song White Christmas or the wanting and yearning for it? I remember being a kid and anticipating it as it came into the season and seeing this ancient movie drew me into the idea and asking my mom if we were going to have snow before Christmas this year and she told me no one knows. You never really know. But it's possible. The reason I asked is that we had had a white Christmas just a couple of years back, but had not had one the previous year past. In fact, it was 55 degrees on Christmas. Well, the thermometer showed 54, and there's a family photograph of my brother standing by it outside with a slight jacket on showing a five and a four with both of his hands and the fact that in the background was our skateboard ramp and we're going to skateboard on Christmas which is hard to believe but this was in Texas so there's a little bit of a difference being that far south Though we did get snow quite a few years, especially whenever I was younger for a small period of time, even a blizzard like the one of 1980, but that was followed by the winter of 1981, which was the hardest winter for as far as Texas goes in quite a few years if not generations where does the idea of a white Christmas come from especially knowing that we rarely ever have one researchers looked into this to go along with meteorological type people who predict the weather and they've come up with the idea that on average unless you live in the mountains or leeward to the mountains and getting a northern down our extreme northern climate that you probably didn't have a white Christmas this is in Europe and the Americas on average you didn't have one you do remember one probably during your life and it depends on how old you are now listening to me whether you have experienced one two three or four most of us all experienced the exact same winter whenever it actually had northerns that came down and were able to penetrate farther south and really bring that blanket over. The last one I remember is when my mom passed away. We were actually the host of Christmas. We were able to host it and she came down, or came to visit for it along with family who came in from Orlando and my whole family really and we got to host it. It was pretty special but it was quite special whenever my brother and his daughters showed up from Orlando, Florida and they were very excited pulling up realizing that the whole place was a blanket of white and my daughters ran out there and proceeded to not just hug them but start the thing off with a snowball fight it was a funny entrance to the whole type idea but one that uh, we'll never forget because white Christmases are come somewhat rare it's the one that sticks in your mind I have a few in my mind knowing that when the Christmas tree was up and presents were under it that there was actually snow outside I remember one year it actually snowing overnight during Christmas just like you would think it was supposed to do for everybody with the idea of Santa Claus and of course the white Christmas that we hear of and Christmas is a white people's holiday where we don't need to necessarily go there with all of its facets no matter where you go with whether it's the pagan ideas of the way things went or the story of Christ or anything that goes along with it 
but where did this originally come from this idea that we should want a white Christmas or that we're hoping for one somehow it seems to come from a mere memory when we actually did have one well if you look back it comes from medieval times and the things that came out of that most of where we get this from is from famous novels that nearly everyone read back in the Renaissance times or back in the newer Renaissance times coming out of medieval England and the writings of Charles Dickens you see, in Dickens's books, quite often, there always was a white Christmas. One would wonder why, whenever you realize nowadays, if you live 80 years, you might experience three or four during your life. Depending on where you live. But Charles Dickens lived in a time that came after... what was known as a warming period and during the time of his writing he was writing during the little ice age let's take a look at that you see the little ice age that's here is rounding the turn of when Dickens was writing his novels this just came after a medieval warming period and this was a time of such prosperity that we were able to build all those giant cathedrals and places with all the stained glass in them that we well know of but why did it suddenly end some people blame it on viruses and diseases and so on but that was actually caused by this and it dipped and almost came out of it and then went harder and came through. Whenever it did so, all of a sudden that prosperity went away to somewhat of a drought situation. And that caused a lot of problems. And in a time of hope, people kept looking at this idea of a white Christmas. Well, you used to have one here. In fact, we've just now come and creeping up out of it. And, of course, researchers have realized that this whole idea of global warming is looking at this, and it's come up and going, Oh my gosh, look! Whenever in reality, Oh my gosh, look! And if we were actually to look at the Younger Dryas event and the timeline that it shows there, you will find out that the warmest that we've been in the last 4,000 years was 3,800 years ago. The warmest we've been in the last 6,000 years was 5,500 years ago. And the warmest we've actually been in the last 10,000 years is 9,600 years ago or so. And actually higher than that even. And there were no cow farts back then. Not to get too off on that subject because in a modern day it's really being pushed and it's kind of an opposite situation where amazingly we're coming through a prosperity period and all these people are hoping for this to be the effect that goes on to us you would think that they almost are wishing for the next ice age and everything to be screwed over and there are people that believe along that line and that humanity should all end that we shouldn't even look for asteroids and try to stop it from happening because that would have been the finger of God as opposed to just some rock out there that gets dislodged and pushed around somehow they want to invoke somebody throwing the baseball which would not be true but after it happened to us you could probably get people to believe it because of the drastic things that happen so it seems that during this time right in here people were having extreme white Christmases in fact, if we just look at other pictures associated with looking up Little Ice Age, you'll see something quite revealing. For during this time, a lot of the rivers that we know of, like the Thames and so on, would freeze over solidly. 
it might get people real out of bent shape to even realize that it happened back then for seeing how few and rarely that you see something like that happen today but when you're seeing us have 14 degree temperatures at most and peaking peaking at a moment back during this time the average was below that and that's below freezing and we have freezing water coming down out of the mountains, but it's under move and reaches freezing temperatures and finally calms down enough, it'll freeze solidly. These people used to actually get out and build bonfires out on the ice. Ice skating was a thing where you could just go down to the local river, not just a pond where we have that today and you realize that stagnant water is going to do that but flowing rivers would even stop famous rivers and there was a lot of these bonfires this didn't happen one time and you would think that it's the most foolish thing in the world for someone to try to build a bonfire out on the ice but it was so cold and in fact negative 14 quite often that you could build a bonfire out on the ice and it wouldn't melt through it. It was so thick. It was so cold. That it really couldn't do anything. A lot of the heat convection is going up from that. And the cold that was beneath it was holding it off quite well. If you want to know where the idea of a white Christmas comes from. It comes from Charles Dickens' stories from a time of prosperity and coming out of it and being trapped into the little ice age so they have just seen all of this incredible building and growth going on but then a time that was really not so well I mean it was the best of times it was the worst of times these people tried to make the best out of the situation this is a drawing of the people actually just ice skating down on the river we could show some of those pictures that they've drawn of like the bonfires and so on sled horses and things being just pulled across the ice which you would think is a foolish venture nowadays but uh, the ice was literally so thick that there was not a worry that you would even go through it at all so these white Christmases that we dream of every year are a reoccurring theme that's come down just like a lot of our heritage of our holiday here in the idea that we want a white Christmas just like Dickens used to have when you look at what happened right there along with it and that shortly after you probably wouldn't want that on ourselves but we do beckon for a white Christmas Quite often people will go up into the mountains, go skiing, go to a lodge, and make sure they find White Christmas. There was a year when my daughters were so worried about it happening, and it didn't look like it was going to happen, and just north of the Texas border up into Oklahoma it was snowing, and we actually had the thought of driving three hours just so we could go show the kids snow. Just if we could. But that amazing year that my mom came down and we had the party, which was Christmas Eve always, and you let the kids open one present and then in the morning the next. In the middle of the night that night, we had somebody come through our area here and the only car that drove down our road, which was amazing. And it lost control just before the house before us and swerved and came up through our yard swerved and got control of it back when it once it was off the ice and in the yard and then drove back out off the side of our yard in the alleyway and went back out I saw this happen and it was a real close call type situation but then what came to my mind is I might be able to utilize this for I actually went out there and careful stepping around tried to make it look like this was done by Santa when my kids woke up we had moved the grating from in front of the fire and one of the first things we told them to do is put that back hmm, I guess the elves didn't put it back so we did all these things to get them to keep believing 
But one neat thing that happened there too was after it was all over with, I thought I'd just mention this. Hey, what about the snow and everything? And the kids opened it up and went to look outside shivering. And they looked and then just pulled the door open wide open. And they were like, oh my gosh, Santa came and he came right here in the yard. And they could see where he had went right through and walked up to the house and walked back. Something like that will stick with your kids and it actually way farther past the age necessarily that my daughters should probably still believe they still believed my oldest found out and then I told her that she's not supposed to let the other ones know until it happens naturally like it done to her and we carried it a few more years along and then finally I had to break free they knew they asked me they had too many of the correct questions this year I'm still hoping for a white Christmas that we get a snow from there. In Texas it really just helps us kill off bugs and so on. You hope it doesn't trek down too far south though because our winter produce for pretty much North America comes out of South Texas and some of Florida and a few other places and therefore we don't want it to really creep down there too bad or it could cause us problems and shortages and certain things. It's amazing we're able to grow in different places during different times and set up for things like this. But if something real radically happened, like what happened to cause this early ice age here and did to people, it would be an extreme famine. And Superman couldn't help because he'd be under the same famine itself. There'd be really no way of fixing it. And since it seemed to have lasted over a hundred years here, it would really start to cause problems. It wouldn't be something like, well, we had a cold winter last year. For there were years in that that were stated to have not really had a summer. That the winter came out of it and it got kind of springy and faltered again. And then early snows reported way before Thanksgiving and so on during those times so when you hope for a white Christmas maybe not necessarily you're hoping for all of the things that went along with it that caused the original effect that we're talking about but just to clarify here one of my Christmas videos to explain the fact of where our white Christmas idea comes from we all know the famous movie that I started this off with and people go well that's Holiday Inn that's the movie Holiday Inn and they actually go through all of the holidays it's just the white Christmas seemed to be a big finale for the situation and when they were able to kick open that effectively what is a barn door and show you that it is snowing and they were having a white Christmas right there really set things off just like it did the year that we had a white Christmas during my child's growing up, one that they'll never forget. Further on past that year in February, March, my mom started feeling bad and went and had it checked out and she had cancer. We went to visit her in March and when we did so, it was late March, mid late March, and it had just snowed again. It was hard to get to where she was somewhat compared with the highways but when we got there one thing that we did was we built a snowman and not just some little one which always happened here in Texas sometimes if it sticks but we were able to build a giant life-size snowman and hook it all up which sitting around the side of the house slightly in the shade lasted a little longer than it should have and then faltered over but literally one month later from the point that mom was diagnosed she passed away in my arms and my brothers and sisters right there so this is going to be a Christmas that I'll always remember for many reasons my children will remember it from a different point of view and it's strange to look at that and how it will carry on do we really want a white Christmas well, yeah, we do, but we, of course we want it to come and go away. If we dip into the next ice age, it's going to be a really different thing, and we're going to be hoping for a broad summer as opposed to a white Christmas, and there'll be a whole new song be sung. 
But that's where the origin of White Christmas comes from and the ideas of where it gets its push from. And that sentiment has been carried on through to modern times. It's kind of hard to believe that it lasted that long and it continues on and it sees no end in sight. Although current dogma tries to push and ruin this idea and things and tell you that something bad's happening and all this propaganda type thing that's really nothing at all. What we ought to be more worried about is the causes of things like this in the Ice Age and the Younger Dryas for something like that happened again would devastate all humanity and if it happened a little larger we would never be here again to speak of such things. Some people sit around doing nothing to try to stop that situation now given the opportunity and they've said oh we looked at it and if we did this we did that yeah well if if you blew it up it might make smaller pieces but that's of course going to be a shotgun effect rather opposed to one thing hitting you but if imagine if you were to blow it up in pieces and then surround that with three more blowing it up it would blow all those pieces into little bitty bits and then what we'd have is a meteor shower we'd watch every year about that time as we ran through the sleuth of it and we remember how we saved everything or we might end up not being able to remember anything because we're no, not, no longer here on the planet. Kind of a depressing thought here at Christmas, and I apologize for bringing that to you on a holiday time like this where we're supposed to be experiencing so much love with each other, but understand that that's where that comes from too. Understanding where things come from enlightens you on the reality of the way things are and after telling you all of this I cannot stop myself from telling you that I hope you all have a white Christmas those of you who wish to go skiing and so on are able to do so and there's good powder snow for you that the roads are somehow clear but the yards are all puffy white Snowmans fill nearly every yard, every schoolyard, and that kids have a great Christmas. Snowball fights and everything that goes along with it. I wish the best to you and yours in this holiday. This holiday season happens to us every year. Merry Christmas and hope do we have a happier new year than these last couple that we've been experiencing. I think that idea is starting to thaw though to itself. Peace.